everybody is interested in Kadumit and also as well the full crop over calendar. What Cabinet has said is that what we are giving to the world and to Barbados is five months of cultural celebration. Not just one single event as other countries are doing, but five whole months when we as a country can celebrate who we are as a people. And yes, we will have all of the pomp and pageantry that we like in the context of Kadumat and Kwapova, but as well we have that full season of self-reflection and discovery and celebration. There are a number of innovations that we will be bringing this year in the context of the entire season of emancipation. So Krapover falls within that season of emancipation. That's a, a critical message that we want to be able to get forward. Huh? People sometimes have suggested, you know, that we're just about the events and, 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 and those sorts of things. And we want to change that narrative. Um, by clearly seeing that this for us is uh, five months of full cultural expression. I won't go through the entire calendar, um, but just to highlight again, like I said, some of the innovations. So I'll go to crop over first, because I think that's one of the things that people are, are most interested in. Um, and just to say that this year, 2023, we will be returning to the full gamut of the crop over calendar and events that we're accustomed to. So that means that this year, unlike last year, we will see again Junior Kadumit um, will be on the calendar. Um, last year, we moved to Pandemonium, and that was extremely successful, so that will return. We will not have the Calvacades, but we will keep the sweet lines again. One of the features that we had last year that was extremely successful. One of the things that we will do and continue to do as we did last year is again work with the schools. That is, we will have masquerade leaders who will go into various um, primary and secondary schools to be able to help them to do their designs so that we again have a full involvement of community and schools. And again, I, I want to pause there because that is important um, as well. So we're doing a season of emancipation that is not just about the high level and the band leaders and, you know, and the vendors, but it's also about communities and schools um, and young people. So a lot of the events that we will do, the innovation that you will see happening is that they will be more grounded again and starting from the community level. I want to address, and I'm sure all the questions are going to be about the crop over route, and I want to ask your patience. Um, Cabinet, yes, has you know, the authority to make the final decision, but we have committed to our stakeholders a process of dialogue, and Cabinet made that decision just yesterday. We do want to have the opportunity to go back to our stakeholders um, to have some discussions with them um, so that they are comfortable and together. Then we will, by very early next week, be making um, an announcement on the crop over route, um, as well as also as well confirming the venues for all of the events that we will have on the calendar. In the context of the season of emancipation and um, some of the um, critical events, so I talked about the Basa rebellion and how we will commemorate that on April 14th as one of our signal activities. So we will have a documentary that will be aired on that day, but the importance of how we will do that documentary is critical. So that documentary is not just about a core of people, of dancers and actors and actresses, etc. But we'll be going to communities to journal um, that whole process of the Basa Rebellion. And wherever that takes place within those communities, it is within those communities that we intend to find the talent. So the dancers and the schools and, and all of those people within the communities, we want to bring them in to also be part of telling that story um, as well. One of the days that we will celebrate on the calendar um, is Marcus Garvey Day. And we want to be true to the tenant of Marcus Garvey, who talked a lot about, about black ownership and entrepreneurship. And instead of doing what we would normally or traditionally do of, of having a show, again, we want to ground that within our communities. And so on that day, we'll be having two signal events. One, we will have a competition um, for people to present what they believe is an innovative cultural project or idea that we will then in turn fund in order to be able to bring to scale. So that is that spirit of Marcus Garvey entrepreneurship, getting the communities, getting people themselves who are interested in culture to be able to say, this is what it should look like 
and we will commit to funding that. The other part of that as well, we will also be telling the story of black entrepreneurship and what that looks like, going into markets and finding those people who are doing the best called heel soup um, and whatever else that is indigenous um, for us and telling those stories and highlighting them and highlighting the vendors and the hawkers. Again, that whole spirit of who we are um, as Barbadians, we want to be able to tell that story. Jackie Opal Day, um, as well on August 27th, one of the things that we will be doing is having a symposium looking at the state of um, music and production and distribution in Barbados. What does it mean for us to be able to have an indigenous sound? How do we take that to the world? What do we need to do in order to build capacity um, within the sector? Um, for us to be able to operate and continue to operate rather the level of excellence that we would normally um, that we would normally do.